I don't know what to say. So I lay him my hands forward to pray for you. Shabadaba. Anyway. Rise and shine, back to the grind So what you wanna do, a word from the bishop Top of the week, I'll bring it through It's Make It Monday, time to make it do what it do Encourage men in the cup, so here's to me and here's to you Rise and shine, back to the grind So what you wanna do, a word from the bishop Top of the week, I'll bring it through It's Make It Monday, time to make it do what it do Yo, what's up, party people in the place to be? I am Bishop T.K. Grant III. I am the senior pastor and founder of Oasis of Faith. First thing you know I want to know is what's in your cup? Now, maybe you don't have a cup. There is a very distinct problem. You are not getting a recurring motif that's happening here. I don't know what to say. So I lay him my hands forward to pray for you. Shabbat anyway, anyway, today I have a theme. Where do we go from here? And we have three keys to having a good week and changing your perspective so that you don't say, oh my God, it's making Monday. You be like, oh my God, it's making Monday. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to be like, it's making Monday. If you don't have a beard or anything, just, you know, grab something. It, grab that one ponytail. It's making Monday. Monday. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We're going to make it do what it do. But before we do that, we got to get into some current events. First current event is the coronavirus. Oh, my God. It's, this is crazy. Wear a mask. Matter of fact, stay in the house. Do you understand that it's growing in all kinds of places? Arizona, Texas, California, and Florida is just a sin and a shame. I don't know who... I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about whoever's in charge of Florida because they know better. They mama taught them better. They daddy taught them better. They probably got free spankings about this. This is bad. Do you understand that 11,000 people had, uh, had the virus in a day? Uh, Florida has topped over 200,000 people with the coronavirus and people are going to Florida like it's a Miami Vice reunion. What is the problem? It's the problem. Don't go. And that, and therefore, and I got to say this. Why in the world were you at a cookout? Please tell me. Please tell me. Why did you go to a cookout? For real? For real? The ham, you couldn't cook your own hamburger? You couldn't cook your own? Look, my wife made me barbecue steaks, all kinds of stuff. Hamburgers, chicken. I ain't been nowhere. What are you doing at a cookout? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I got the blood of Jesus. I got the blood of Jesus. No, I don't. Don't tell me about no blood of Jesus. I'm a preacher. I know about the blood of Jesus. And when they had the blood, if we go all the way back to the beginning and they put the blood on the doorposts and the blood on the lintel, watch this one rule. Stay your behind behind the door. Stay behind the door. So you just can't be saying, I got the blood of Jesus. I got the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus still requires you to not disavow your responsibility. But I'll say it again. The blood of Jesus still requires you to not disavow your responsibility. So I'm going to take this little uh, piece of tissue and tie it around my, my face like a bandit and scream, blood of Jesus, and everything's going to be all right. And then you crawl. Don't do it. Stop going to weird barbecues for the summer. This thing is at an all-time high. Only us in Brazil are as bad as we're doing all across the world. Do you and you out at the barbecue trying to get a free hamburger? Okay, I got to move on. I got to move on. I got to move on. Wear a mask. I got my mask in the blood of Jesus. Oh. Anyway, um, not only that, but watch this. The Redskins, the, the Washington Redskins, for y'all that understand football. On Thursday, the owner of FedEx issued a statement calling for a name change. And, and then Nike and Pepsi and Bank of America also called for a name change. Then on Friday, the owner, Dan Snyder, said that he would 
changed the name. And so now they are running through names that they might pick. Dwayne Haskins put up on uh, his Instagram uh, Red Tails. And then he changed his mind about giving his opinion. I don't understand why he gave it in the first place. <laughs> anyway, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, uh, you know, he won the Red Tails, Tuskegee Airmen. Some of y'all figured you would know it, but then I didn't say it. Then the other people didn't know why I said Red Tails. So Holy Ghost said, you need to tell everybody because some people don't even know who the Tuskegee Airmen are. And I don't have time in this little short window to tell you who the Tuskegee Airmen are. But you should think about it. Okay. Not only that, Cleveland Indians are thinking about changing their name. They're like, we don't want to miss the boat. <laughs> That's a bad pun. We don't want to miss the party. <laughs> so they're thinking about changing their name as well. Miss the boat entirely. Do it. Don't get on that boat. Anyway, but change the name. Get on the plane. Plane goes faster. You know what I mean. When when go faster. Go faster. Then there has been, I, I see how I just segue, it was a bad segue, but there has been gun violence, gun violence in Chicago that has killed a nine year, uh, killed nine children since June 20th, and uh, includes a seven year old girl who got a bullet in the head because people wanted to fire guns during the 4th of July when they should have been in the house with the blood of Jesus behind the door. Uh, anyway, all of these things, they are. Uh, <sighs> they, 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 they get under my skin. That was the best euphemism that I had at the time. All right. So let's talk about this week. We want to have a good week and change our perspective. And boy, do I have a word for you. Are you ready for the word? Okay. I'm not going to give it to you yet because you know, that's not how I do. <laughs> and if I got you with that, you need to watch more often good say okay all right number one number one these are three keys three factors three three things you have to remember so that you can have a good week and be like make it monday yeah have a good week and uh and have a great perspective number one you have an exceptional position an exceptional position you've been given an exceptional position matthew 20 and verse 16 says, so the last shall be first and the first uh, last. For many are called, but few are chosen. God has changed your situation in life. He's changed your station. In Deuteronomy chapter 20, 18, uh, chapter, chapter 28, verse 13, he says, and that you're going to be the head and not the tail, always above and never beneath. I like to say, say it like this, you're the head and not the tail, lender not the borrower, always on top, never on the bottom. First, not the last, king, not the servant, son, not the slave, wholesaler, not the retailer, merchant, not the customer. I'm trying to tell you, you have been given an exceptional position. And so you've got to remember that, that God sees you in a certain light, that you have been positioned to prosper. You have been positioned uh, for protection. You have been positioned for pleasure. You have been given an exceptional position and anybody would have exceptional position should not waste their shot that's what hamilton's saying and hamilton just in case you got cultured this weekend i'm not going to waste my shot anyway all right number two number two all the people that didn't see hamilton don't have any culture for you i'm praying um number two you have elevated prominence you have elevated prominence i wanted to say it another way but then i figured i would go back and forth with myself in an argument about how it was going to be taken so you have elevated prominence i win the argument either way um first peter 2 9 but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim praises of him who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. I hope I'm looking up enough because last week, my friend Deacon Haywood got on my nerves and told me that I was looking down too much. This is not even her gig, so I don't know why she wanted to bother me. She should get her own Make It Monday gig, just get it on Tuesday and let me tell her about it. She looks down. But moving on, you had elevated prominence. Watch Revelations 1. You really never leave. Okay, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness of the firstborn from the dead and the ruler over all the kings of the earth, 
to him who loved us and washed us uh, from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to uh, his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever. Amen. So you have this situation where you are a king and a priest. And let me help you with that. A priest gives God his praises and the king has dominion. And so God has put you in this elevated situation of prominence, grandiloquence. You be the one. Then number three, number three, number three. You have exceeding power. This one, I don't know, I was going to say is my favorite, but I really like number two. So um, if I had some dice, I'd just have some dice. So um, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Now, I told them to put it in the Amplified Classic Version of the Bible, but somehow that didn't come across. So just look it up. Okay, number two. John 4, 4, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. I like an old fashioned way. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. All the people that don't know the new King James Version, probably he quoting that wrong. I ain't quoting that wrong. Anyway, do I sound testy today? I apologize. I'm not testy. I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. But if you're going to live like this, you've got to renew your mind. This I haven't said it in like three weeks, and I don't want you to think I forgot, but renewing your mind is pivotal. Renewing your mind is critical. Renewing your mind is key because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. If we look at it and break it down, it's really as a man thinketh, so is he, or so is he to become, if I really understand the Hebrew and all of it. So is it, So I become like I think. So I have to constantly change and renew my mind so that I can think a certain way. And Romans 12, 2 says in the NIV version, now they give me versions that I want. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might be able to test and approve what good what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I probably didn't want that in that version either, but you you, you get it. Uh, they said I told them, so who am I to argue with me? Um, so anyway, you got to renew your mind because renewing your mind is going to be a great thing. Now, for the word. Okay, okay, enough of that. Uh, bellwether. I know you use it all the time. <laughs> Bell weather. It is a noun. It is a noun. It means one that takes the lead or initiative, a leader, also an indicator of trends. One that takes the lead or initiative, a leader or an indicator of trends. Marcy was a bellwether of fashion. Did you get it? I put it in a sentence. Didn't make it any clearer. Use it. Just use it in a sentence all day today. You are going to be a bellwether of change. You're going to change something this week. You are going to lead your family in some way. You are going to lead your friends in some way. You are going to lead the people in the gym at some way. You going to lead the people at the rec center in some way. You going to lead the people not wearing masks and going to barbecues that in Florida and places they shouldn't go in some way. You are going to be different. You are a bellwether of change. And so I need you to get some synonyms. I need you to put it in a sentence all day so that you can use it. We are going to start a new trend. Are you with me? We went aberrant last week and now in our going aberrant and doing something different, we have become bellwethers. Oh, how you've grown over the last week. The last seven days, you've just matriculated into a bellwether from your aberrant self. And I'm so glad that I can have a part in your destiny. I'm excited. I know this has been short and you've missed me. And I'll be back next week. And we'll have things we want to talk about. Make it Monday, baby. Make it Monday. <laughs>
It's a grants on point, but wisdom averse so a quote Whether by caffeine or any means, I suggest you stay woke Be recipient and assiduous in your passion and hope If for 12 weeks the problem, make it Monday's the antidote